Okay, now breathe. Breathe. The transfer window is finished. Arsenal have done a madness. My club. New left back. Kieran Tierney. Oh, I've been, I've been waiting for this. I really have been waiting for this. Every time I've watched Celtic over the last few years, I've had a very keen eye on Kieran. He's, he's a very good left back. And I know that we've been screaming for a player like him for ages. And I'm so, so glad we've got him. Apparently, we were looking at him for years. So we finally got the deal done. And there's plenty other deals going on in the background right now. So officially the transfer window has closed. But Premier League clubs do get, and I believe it's other English clubs in different leagues of course. Um, they get until 7pm to submit the paperwork. So if something isn't announced publicly, it doesn't mean it's not done. We're still waiting on David Luiz. Apparently he is joining for 8 million, two year contract. And he will come in and replace Koscielny, clearly. Um, Tierney's done. Apparently, we are selling Iwobi for around £40 million to Everton. £40 million! And I'm here just refreshing the page, waiting for David Luiz to be announced, and of course, Iwobi as well. So, um, wow, what a, what a deadline day. Of course, we're not going to be just talking about Arsenal in this video. I wanted to do a complete wrap-up. We're going to look through all of the deals that have gone through today and have a look at some of the biggest deals that has gone through throughout the entire window. Um, also guys, this video is brought to you by FOTMOB. I'm currently on their website. If you didn't know, they actually have a website as well. The experience is better on the app, I would say, but this is something you guys can use as well. It has all of the latest news. I mean, we've got Cess and Young here. We've got uh, Drinkwater leaving on loan, of course. There's so many deals to talk about today. And here you can see Alex Wobi undergoing a medical at Everton. They're reporting it's 38 million, so the reports are between 35 to 45, we just don't know yet. So thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Anything? Anything? Check on Twitter. Nothing. Everyone's just talking about the, the beta, the FIFA 20 beta, which I've got, by the way. I'm going to be playing career mode, FIFA 20 career mode, later on tonight when I finally download it. What is with all these adverts? That's disgusting. But... Anyway, let's take a look at all the deals. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. So we are seeing a lot of loan deals going through in the last moments. This is the real panic stage of the window when there's one or two hours to go and you get wind of a player, that, player that's possibly available for a loan and you just get the deal done as soon as possible. So we're seeing players like Besic. He's going on loan to Sheffield. Actually, rate Besic. I think he's a decent player, especially for a club like Sheffield who are going to be trying to stay up. We've got Izzy Brown. Danny Drinkwater, of course, he's going to Burnley on loan. We've got Naki Wells. Benikafobe, ex-Arsenal, now playing for Bristol on loan. It just goes to show we weren't wrong in selling him originally. Um, there's a lot of names here. I don't need to go through them all. Uh, some of the main moves, though, we've got Josh Onoma going from Spurs to Fulham because they've gone ahead and signed Ryan Sessegnon. So he was part of the deal. £25 million, roughly, to bring in Ryan Sessegnon. That could rise to £30 million with bonuses and stuff like that. Um, and they've, of course, given Fulham Onoma, which, I mean, I guess that's a good deal. Sessegnon is going to be a very good player, very good player. Uh, we've got uh, Pereira going from Sporting to West Brom. West Brom have signed three right midfielders today. Three. Obviously, they can probably play on the left and stuff like that. Uh, another huge deal that we saw today was Lo Celso going to Tottenham uh, on loan with an option to buy. £15 million loan fee, roughly. Um, who knows how much they'll have to pay to get him permanently. I'm guessing they don't care if he performs somewhat, I, I don't want to say badly, but if he doesn't have a crazy season, they're still going to activate it because we all know the qualities that Lo Celso has. He's, uh, he's a very good player. We've got uh, Joe Willock's brother, Chris Willock, going back to England. He's been at Benfica for a, a year or two now, I think it is, and he's on loan at West Brom now. We've got uh, Man City panicking that they don't have enough English players, so they've gone ahead and loaned in Scott Carson, the 33-year-old goalkeeper from Derby. So he's going to be playing for Man City. But of course, the big deal, guys, the big one. We got freaking Tierney, man. We have a proper left back. He is injured at the moment. He's not going to be fit for possibly up to a month, maybe two months. He's had, I think it was a double hernia operation, I think he said, on the Arsenal website. So he's still recovering from that. But uh, this is obviously not a signing just for now. This is for the future. He's 22. I mean, he's, he's a seriously good talent and uh, experienced as well. Played for Scotland, a lot of Celtic games as well. Um, oh, I can't believe we've actually got him. 
We've got Pavon going on loan to LA Galaxy, which was a little bit of a weird one. Uh, another Arsenal-related deal. And Ketia has gone to Leeds, and Leeds will, will be very pleased to have him. Give Ketia a couple of weeks, and he'll be he'll be banging in the goals. Technically, the biggest deal of the day, I believe, Romelu, Romelu Lukaku has gone to Inter after being linked to Juventus for quite some time. We've got Saar here as well. He had a great season in France for Stade René. He's gone to Watford for just under 30 million. Charlie Austin has gone to West Brom. West Brom have done a lot of deals, actually. And they've got uh, the ex-West Ham. Is it Bilic? He's now their manager. So they'll be, uh, they'll be having a good season, I'm sure. What else have we got going on here? Nothing too crazy. West Ham went ahead and brought in Ajeti. Decent striker. I think we're kind of coming to the end of today's deals. We've got James McCarthy going to Palace. Palace ultimately keeping Zaha. They are not interested in selling him. I think we'll see in January what's going to happen there. Um, anything else that's gone... Wait, what? Josh Sims has gone to New York Red Bulls from Southampton. What? It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Uh, Sidibe has gone to Everton on loan. Looks like Inter have sold a striker, Puskas, there, because, of course, Lukaku is coming in. Uh, João Cancelo, of course, has gone to Man City. They have sold Danilo. It was kind of a swap deal plus cash. It looks like that's most of it, really. We've got Danny Welbeck here going to Watford on a free transfer. He's still injured, by the way, of course. I think that's pretty much it there's just so many loan deals and it's impossible to keep up with it all uh trap has left psg he's gone to frankfurt some deals that i didn't know about actually see this is another one do you remember hagota he was thought to be just a couple of years ago he was thought to be a very very good player for the future and he's now going to be playing in the bundesliga 2 oh dearie me so let's have a look at Sky Sports here. Let's go ahead and refresh because you never know. Maybe it's done now. Oh, nothing yet. Just waiting for David Luiz to uh, to be announced here, but uh, doesn't look like it's going to be happening. I've, I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm pretty sure it will be done by the time this video goes up, but right now, I don't know. But it says here, the deadline's passed. The 7pm deadline for deal sheets to be completed is passed. Still no word on David Luiz to Arsenal or Alex Iwobi to Everton, both of which are expected to be completed. It's very possible that these deals have been done and the paperwork has been submitted before the 7pm deadline, but it just hasn't been reported. You know, this is just the media. This is Sky Sports. They don't have someone in the Arsenal offices. So uh, I'm pretty sure it will be announced. What do I think about Iwobi going? I, I don't know, man. I've got mixed feelings about Iwobi because he's been at the club since he was six. And he is a good player. He was, he was, I think, at some points last season, very, very good, but also had many moments of madness and just inconsistencies. And I think we've clearly had an offer come in from Everton and we've just thought, all right, let's just do it. It does, I think, leave us a little bit light going forward, but clearly Emery favours Nelson, Emile Smith-Rowe, even Martinelli, clearly, and Saka, and of course, Mkhitaryan. He would rather play those guys ahead of Iwobi, it seems, especially if we're getting an offer of, let's say, it's £40 million. And that means, I believe if you do the maths, including all of the arrivals and departures, we have spent a net total of £45 million. And guess what was reported at the start of the window? We only had £45 million. Well, clearly they meant more cash flow 45 million pounds but we actually have been able to get bigger deals done just paying in installments it's just a matter of how much money the club actually has available that's what cash flow is um so we'll be paying off pepe for example over the next five seasons uh, the same thing is going to be happening with with um saliba i think that's over four years potentially so quite a few of these signings that we've made are not obviously upfront payments in full but Tierney joining, what does that mean for Monreal and Kolasinac? Well, clearly Tierney is the player for the future and Monreal isn't. I've got a feeling that Tierney will end up playing centre-back a couple of times. I know he's comfortable there. Um, Kolasinac to me is definitely not a left-back. He's more of a, a wing-back, left midfielder. He can get forward and do maybe more. But Tierney, I've seen these, these clips of him whacking in crosses like... It's unbelievable. 
Um, of course, these are just highlight videos. And in fairness, he's playing in Scotland where maybe the quality isn't quite as high as the Premier League in general. Um, don't mean to offend anyone. So it might look like he's, he's better than he actually is, if that makes sense, if we're coming up against better teams. But honestly, for me, we, we go with the same formation that we were planning to play. But instead of Clash Natural Monreal, we put Tierney in as soon as he's, he's fit. You know, we could be looking at maybe in just a couple of weeks' time when Bellerin and Tierney are both fit. They both play left back and right back. And then we'll have David Luiz and Socrates. And then Holding comes in. We still have Mustafi, of course. So, oh, it might, oh, my phone's gone off, is it? No, I don't think it is. I thought maybe David Luiz has just been announced, but no, nothing yet. Let's check Twitter. Just keeping an eye out for things. Oh, look at that. Kieran Tierney's posted a long message about uh, the move. I don't want to read this through completely. Um, but from the age of seven, I was lucky enough to play for the club I love. Thank you so much for these times together. <laughs> See, it's, it's an incredible deal for him because Celtic is his club, his boyhood boyhood club. I'm sure a lot of his family supports Celtic as well. And he, he was literally living the dream. Similar to Carl Jenkinson, who, of course, we've sold to Nottingham Forest. It's a huge decision. I know this is different because we wanted to sell Jenkinson. He would have happily stayed. But clearly here you've got a player that loves his club, absolutely loves how he's lived his dream there but wanted to make a move in his career, he wanted to step up to Arsenal, and he's probably going to be very sad about leaving, but also so excited about joining Arsenal. So let's take a look at the biggest transfers of the window now that it is shut, although there could be just one or two more deals coming through, but none of them are going to be this amount of money. So João Felix is the most expensive signing of this window. Griezmann just behind him there, so Atletico Madrid involved in both of those deals, of course. We've got Eden Hazard coming in in third, He's got the highest market value, um, but of course, doesn't really mean anything. Players are only worth what a team is willing to pay for them. Market value is just a rough guide, if you really think about it. Harry Maguire, of course, more expensive than Delict. Jesus Christ. Uh, Lucas Hernandez, Nicolas Pepe, we made it into the top 10. Frankie de Jong, Rodri, João Cancelo, Man City getting two players in the top 10 there. Uh, Lukaku, Jovic, and Dombele. Honestly, a lot of these deals were sorted quite some time ago, so not many new uh, newcomers. Um, actually, I, I just remembered Man City signed a new right back as well as Cancelo, didn't they? They brought in, that's it, Pedro from uh, Girona, who they have a close affiliation with, don't they? I think that um, they work with Girona, they, they loan players to them and, and whatever, but uh, that's an interesting one. What does this mean for Kyle Walker? Is he gonna be used more of a, a center back? Surely not. I know he can play there technically, but bringing Cancelo and Pedro, maybe they're going to loan Pedro. Yeah, they must be loaning him out. There's no way that he gets in ahead of Walker or Cancelo. It's just mad to me that Man City had the best right back in the league and they've just gone and bought another one who's now the best right back in the league. <laughs> it's, just, it's mental, isn't it? It really is. But they've done a great job there. They've brought in some good players and you know, I'm thinking of Tottenham as well with um, with Ndombele and Lacelso. That's incredible business from them. And of course, uh, new left back Ryan Sessegnon as well. But in general, I would say Arsenal are right up there as some of the best transfer business this window. I think Juventus probably take it for me as the uh, the best signings. And uh, who else? I mean, Real Madrid have done some good business, but it's a lot of money. I don't think many clubs have beaten Arsenal, you know, in terms of the uh, the quality they've done. What I'm just so amazed about is what we've done in terms of selling as well. If you really think about it, although we lost quite a few players like Ramsey, he was for free, and we sold Ospina for three million. That was all very disappointing. But these deals were almost done already before uh, Emery could do anything about it. I mean, Ospina was already on loan and set to go, but now under new board members, Don Raul as everyone calls him, we are actually selling players for at least a decent amount of money. And that's that's a huge thing for us because we have been shocking at selling players. We really have, but still nothing on David Luiz. That is a little bit concerning, but what can I say? So, absolutely incredible. We are done with the transfer window. I'm kind of sad because it's one of my favorite things of the year, but it does mean, of course, the Premier League starts tomorrow, 
which is really exciting. Arsenal play on Sunday, so the first episode of my uh, new season of Operation Arsenal will be going live. Dennis Prate has gone to Leicester, by the way, for 18.9. They were quoting 25 mil a couple of uh, couple of weeks ago for him when Arsenal were interested. So Leicester have done well to get the price down a little bit, clearly by waiting. But yeah, that's it, guys. What can I say? So I'm still downloading the beta right now. Um, I should tell you, I can't obviously upload it or stream it or tell you about it. But make sure you check your emails because you might have a FIFA 20 beta code sitting there for you. Please do not buy any codes. They are linked to accounts. You cannot buy them. The only way you can play the beta is to have that account and uh, use the code with the account. It's all linked. You can't buy a code and then just download it on your own account. It doesn't work like that. So please don't get uh, shafted online. There are lots of people trying to sell them on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money. It doesn't work. It's impossible. You have to own the account. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Once again, don't forget to check out FopMob. Their link is in the description. It's completely free to download on your phone or you can use the website like I have been. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow where I intend to talk about the career mode changes in a little bit more depth. So you've got something to look forward to.